Hello and welcome to another episode of American in Poland. Today I'm here with Moxie and we have a very special guest. As you can see, this is Natalia. Hey Natalia. Hello, or should I, ha or should I say, Brilit. Privit. <laughs> I think like maybe Moxie is like, like really supporting Ukraine because she has yellow eyes and a blue collar. What do you think? Uh, it's, she's definitely. We heart Ukraine in this house. And yeah. <laughs> why are we talking about Ukraine? It's because Natalka is Ukrainian. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> and she happens to be my friend. And guess what? Big announcement to the world. We are going on vacation together. Yay! <laughs> and we are going to... We are going to... Prague! <laughs> and we're super excited! Yes! Now, have you been to Prague before? No, I haven't actually. Okay. This will be my first time in Prague. Okay, well, actually, I've been to Prague a few times with some people, and every time I go, it's like a wonderful trip, and it's really hilarious because the more that I'm learning Polish, yeah. uh, and you go to Prague, and you start like reading stuff and listening to people, you're like, it sounds like, like, Polish, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, you know, no offense, I think the Czech people are like, yeah, but actually, if you are in our country and you listen to Polish, you guys sound like you're speaking some funny Czech. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, let's just say that regardless, we can sort of get by and understand each other. And what's especially important about this particular vlog is that I would like to communicate that Poland is a great launching pad to go visit other European cities. And Prague is like so close. And you yeah. can drive there, you can take a train, you can take a plane, and you can get there and it's really worth it. We are deciding to be budget travelers and we are taking a train from Warsaw to Prague and we're gonna show you how to do it. We have a really good strategy of having a um, Airbnb style apartment that is close to the Dvorak Centralny there in in, uh, in Prague, the main rail station. I think this is really smart because yeah. you can actually get um, your public transit like application there in Prague and just use their application for getting around. Mm -hmm. You can go by foot. You really don't necessarily need to have an Uber or a Bolt or something. Yeah. And you can just kind of uh, kind of flow. You don't have to mm -hmm. say like, we have to do this. You can just kind of flow. We are planning on flowing. But for sure, I would like to go to one museum. Yeah. I want to go to the Muha Museum mm -hmm. because this Alfonso Muha is like one of my favorite artists and I love Art Deco. And if you go into Central Europe, you go to Budapest, you go to Prague and some other places, here in Europe, you can see that Art Deco influence, mm -hmm. and it is so gorgeous. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and finish our mojitos, and then, uh, you know, the sun is uh, coming down, but uh, we are going to bed early like babjas. Anyways, so the next time that you see us, we will be heading to the Warsaw Central Station, and it will be like around four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> because that's how we do it. And then we will be on an eight hour yep. train trip, to Prague, but both of us have work to do, so <laughs> we'll be like looking business like, and then it'll be like, you know, business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> so we'll be like, <sighs> and then we'll be getting to Prague and locating our apartment, which isn't very far away. And then the rest of the day is gonna be like a city exploring. So we will try to show you a little bit of that in this first episode. Uh, the second episode will be all about the best kind of places to go. Yep. Of course, we'll show you all the traditional things that you would expect to go to Prague, but I'm hoping that we can kind of show you some untraditional sites. Well, we're gonna finish up our mojitos and we'll see you in the next segment. See ya.
dobre. Hello. Привет. Привет. Jin dobre. Yo, we're up and we're here to see the sunrise out over Prague, but over Warsaw. <laughs> and now we're going to go find our peron and we have plenty of time because we are smart travelers and we plan ahead. Yep. And uh, we're going to take our little luggages and head on down in stairs. So come along. <laughs> at our correct place, our Peron. Um, by the way, if you, I will show you this in a second, but if you go to where it says departures and arrivals for trains, usually if your train is just about ready to come, mm -hmm. uh, it will show you what sector uh, you need to be waiting in, which is very helpful. So you just look at your ticket and it'll show you which wagon or wagon yeah. that you're in and what sector you should be waiting in for the train. So this is our first time even riding a train to a different country. Exactly. Do you have your passport? Yes, I have. I have my passport too. We are so ready for this. be heading into the Czech Republic pretty soon I think yeah and uh, we had like first breakfast at 5 a.m. and most of us were sleeping I saw people they're like <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were so out of it and me too <laughs> and yes I brought my own coffee don't judge but she bought some coffee yeah I have and we're actually just now all gonna go have some breakfast so let's uh, show you how to do this um, Breakfast car, this is called Varsha or Varus? Yeah. Varus. Or a restaurant. Restaurant on the train. Let's go check it out and see if it's any good. Come on. they're trying to teach me but it's like <laughs> oh. uh, right now my brain is only Polish you know and I know like a couple Ukrainian words and that's about it and the most powerful word in Russian is niet exactly <laughs> niet I hope I, I hope I never have to use that word but you just never know because some Ukrainians are actually speaking Russian yeah a lot a lot so if I I, I heard you saying like da 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 exactly so okay maybe I know two <laughs> Because I, like people that speak Ukrainian, they're not usually saying da. Yeah. Unless they're from like I guess maybe more the mm. eastern part of Ukraine. Exactly. And they have a mix mix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speaking of mix mix, I have this mixed idea that do I want to do eggs? Do I want to do this? Want to do that? I don't know. We have to look at the menu and find out. Let's check out breakfast on the train here in just a second. Wow. And what do we have today for breakfast? So I have a grilled ham and eggs, and you, what do you have? I have a, a British style breakfast, and that's okay for me. I mean, I don't usually have beans for breakfast, but you know, we're, we won't go into that, but you know, I'm like super open to having some good uh, breakfast. And also this is my orange juice. Pretty nice. So as we say, in Poland, where we're still in Poland, Smacznego. Smacznego. <laughs> We've officially crossed over into the Czech Republic. We're, I guess, stopping at our first stop here, and then next 
and final destination is Prague. Exactly. And our goal, actually, when we get there, our goal is to find a restaurant, find a legal, find our flat, yeah. and then we'll probably just walk around Prague a little bit mm -hmm. and wrap this vlog up. Exactly. So we are here in our flat and I just wanted to show it to you. I thought that this was a really good deal uh, between splitting the cost of this place. It is so close to public transit, Jewish quarter, the Vorjets. So maybe if you're watching this video and you would like to stay here too, I will link this place from booking.com in the description. So let me go ahead and do a quick room tour. If Natalia wants to fly in and fly out, we just don't know what will happen. It'll be spontaneous. So come along for at least the bathroom tour and we'll show you the rest here. In this second. is the bathroom. Again, a really nice standard. Oh, that's gonna be important. Make sure that's there. Nice shower. Very nice. And I have to show this. We have a super nice place to hang our laundry, to do our laundry. Hello. I'm just like really impressed already. And look at this. Here's Adalia. Hello. Could you give us a tour of the kitchen? Welcome. My entertainment of this kitchen is right here behind of you. Dum dum. This, <laughs> this was meant for a girl's trip. <laughs> Anybody want some toast? Wah, 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 wah. And what, also what's important? It's a coffee maker. Coffee maker. And for us tea drinking people from Poland and Ukraine. <laughs> dum da da dum. Chinese. Yep. Yeah. And we have a microwave. It has an oven. Who likes to cook? We do. <laughs> and we do. Are, and what are you making for breakfast? And I'm going to make for us some nalishiki or pancakes. I'm very excited about this. And look, we have a flower and it exploded. <laughs> but it's here. It's here. It's the most important thing that, that is here. So that's it. This is our kitchen and this is our refrigerator. So. Huge refrigerator. And we also have dishwasher. So. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to do some dishes. How about you? <laughs> not. We're on vacation. Let's get out of here. All right. And really quick, let's swing around. Hope you're not getting sick as I'm flying through here to see this bedroom and it's super nice because it's one of those beds you can split apart and me and Natalia can have our own spaces. Super nice and check this out. There we go. It comes with a nice view. I'm pretty excited. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. We're gonna wrap it up. I hope that you enjoyed a uh, journey along with Natalia and I. Um, as we went from Warsaw to Prague on one train. It was so peaceful and successful, full of life and full of joy as every vacation should be. And right now we are melting because there's no AC in this place, but that's okay. We have a nice fan and we are European and we, we know how to adjust. So we're gonna go get ourselves freshened up and then we're gonna head out to the street to the Jewish quarter and just walk for the rest of the evening. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Exactly. And we will see you in the next episode. Yes. So, see you. Dovizania. Bye.